Switching gears now, caught on camera, an incredible su showing just how bad the pollen is across the southeast right now. This video comes from Georgia. A helicopter flying low blows the pollen right off of these trees, sending yellow and green clouds in the sky. And look at these photos from Durham. They're going viral. A drone captured these shots of a green haze floating over the entire area. The pollen count is the highest we've seen so far this year. It's mostly coming from the beautiful tree canopy the area is known for. Right now, North Carolina is fifth in the nation when it comes to pollen severity. NBC Charlotte's Rob Hughes live outside in the thick of it. Rob. Yeah, guys, if you're like me, you might have hopped in your car on the way to work this morning and noticed this thick, dusty green film on the hood of your car. It's so thick, you can even write your name in it or maybe draw a picture. And it's pollen, oak, oak and pine pollen to be specific. And it's what's driving people here in the Carolinas that have allergies absolutely crazy. Intolerable, unbearable, and inescapable. Pollen counts sky high in the southeast. In about two days, I'm going to be sneezing my head off. Watery eyes, itchy eyes. You could tell. You could tell the season is here. Earlier this week, these pictures totally unaltered, showing a green haze of the powdery pollen hanging over the city of Durham. This video from Chattanooga showing a plume of pollen falling off a tree as it was cut down. Living in the southeast, there's a few things in life that are predictable. Dr. Gray Norris with the Carolina Asthma and Allergy Center says we're in a perfect storm of allergies. There are grass pollens galore out there, there are tree pollens like crazy, and there are molds. Dr. Norris says the season is just now hitting its peak, but that peak will last for the next several weeks. So how do we survive in the meantime? First, keep your windows shut, both in your car and at home. Second, if you spend any time outside, change your clothes. Third, take a shower before you go to sleep. If you bring that pollen to bed, you're just going to roll around in it all night long. And finally, Fido needs a bath too. If he spends the whole day outside, he's just a fluff ball of pollen. You will get exposure to these things every time you leave the house. And our, our advice is avoid them if you can, but it's certainly hard to live in the bubble. And unfortunately, experts say we're stuck with allergy season until late May, maybe even early June. And even then, it doesn't completely go away. Live in West Charlotte, Rob Hughes, NBC Charlotte. All right, Rob, thank you. Let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich now. Brad, the weather perfect outside, but this pollen, of course, we know is a whole different story. Yeah, when you have windy, dry days like this, as nice as we love this weather, it actually kicks up the pollen, and especially when you get a south wind, and that really blows even more pollen. Today it was sky high. Tomorrow's pollen forecast, very high for your Thursday. It's going to remain high Friday and Saturday, even with scattered showers around. The wind from those scattered showers, just like we saw yesterday, kicks up a lot of this pollen as well. This was a video I got today uh, from Christina up there in the Lake Norman area. Look at the clouds of pollen blowing off the trees as she was driving uh, through the Lake Norman area. Just to goes to show you when the wind picks up, it just blows out of the trees. So it looks like a fog or a cloud out there. We've seen scenes like this all over the Carolinas.